Hi, I'm Melissa Winters and I'm here at the Chattanooga Quilt Week with Laura Ruiz who won first place in our Wall Quilts Home Machine Quilted category. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. This is an amazing quilt. Um, tell me a little bit about where you saw this type of uh, whole cloth quilt. I had seen something similar in the MQX, uh, one of the MQX shows. Mm -hmm. They had a, a challenge and I thought, God, it was really neat to be able to take a piece of commercial cloth and create it and turn it into something of your mm -hmm. own. So I went out hunting for this piece of fabric and I found it because I loved the little quilting motifs in it. And what I did then was find some similar fabrics and create the square and create the whole whole cloth. I call it a whole mm -hmm. cloth quilt. Sure. And from there, um, on paper, I designed the quilting motifs to match in with the commercial fabrics. And once I had that all drawn out to scale and mm -hmm. size, uh -huh. um, I transferred it to the, the whole piece and then did the quilting. Uh -huh. And I was very pleased with the way it turned out. It was a departure for me, but I really love it. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's a great quilt. Now, yeah. um, so you did use a light box, or how did you, how did you get, bring it out after okay. you put it on paper? Well, on, all on the light fabrics, I used a light box. Mm -hmm. You could see, see the, the original sure. drawing so mm -hmm. easily. And, and I use a Frixion pen, which was, you know, a big trial, sure, and right. it worked. Oh, good. <laughs> and you can iron that off. Oh, Once it's sure, drawn on, right. then you can mm -hmm. use an iron to get mm -hmm. rid of that marking. Yep. On the darker areas and the and the dark panel, um, I actually put the design on tracing paper, oh. and then carefully pinned it on here so that it would everything would match mm -hmm. and then sewed through the tracing paper oh. and then tore the paper off. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's neat. And then, so I like how you did the piping though because that kind of brought the gray out. Um, and then I noticed you put your name on the front. Is that something you normally do or is that your label or? Well, I used to always sign all my quilts on the front and then once I started entering quilt shows, uh -huh. I found out that's probably not the best idea to put mm -hmm. your name on the front of the quilt. <laughs> So um, then I started doing labels on the back. So um, I, this is probably the last quilt that I actually signed on the front. <laughs> now on your labels, do you normally just write write on a piece of? Okay, um, I usually or... print my labels. Oh, okay. I usually print mm -hmm. print all my labels. Then you can you know you can have the the type of. Uh, characters that you want on mm -hmm, there and sure. it comes out sharp and crisp sure so I always print my labels and this one I believe is just I use the just print it on here and it printed the color and printed the name and then I use this fabric as a oh, border sure. around it so it's like a tiny little quilt in yeah. there all by itself mm -hmm. that's and, really nice yeah thank you I know I've been yeah. using pen and I'm not sure it bleeds I have a I oh. figure I have to work on yeah. that I yeah. think <laughs> well now it's so nice on the, the inkjet mm -hmm. printers was sure I think it's a bubble jet product that you the soak the fabric in. Oh, okay. And then once that's dry, you can iron to a piece of um, uh, butcher paper. Oh, okay. And then run it through the printer. Oh, and, wow. Uh, it turns out really nice. Iron it a little bit, and you've got a permanent label. Well, Laura, we hope to have um, several more entrances from you, and so congratulations, and thank you for joining us. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.